Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Our project title is a lightweight encryption scheme for network coded mobile ad hoc networks. In our project, energy saving is the important factor in the network because there is a presence of number of servers in the network and also number of data transmissions that are occurred in a network. Especially in mobile ad hoc network, the energy consumption is high because a lot of data that are travel across the network at the there may be collisions can be occurred. At the time of collisions, the data can wait for a certain amount of time. The waiting time of a data could be increase the energy consumption in a network. So, we have to reduce the energy consumption and improve the security. So, we propose the peak coding mechanism to improve the security and also the energy consumption. Peak coding is nothing but permutation coding to calculate the transmission power and also improve the security. In this mechanism, we analyze the weak security and provide the good security in the mobile ad hoc networks with lightweight encryption scheme. The main advantage of our proposed work is to reduce the energy consumption. In our project, we have to run the frames parallelly at either client side and also in server side. The connection could be established by giving the same port number at client side and server side. After the connection could be established, we have to choose a file to encrypt or decrypt. The encryption or decryption can be done on both client side or a server side. But at the time of encryption and decryption, the transmission power must be calculated. The transmission power can be expressed in terms of burst time, CPU utilized time, etc. And finally, we have to compare the transmission time at the time can be calculated at the time of encryption and also with the transmission power can be calculated at the time of decryption. So, Finally, we are going to reduce the energy consumption and also we are going to reduce the file size. It's our data flow diagram. First of all, we are going to connect mo both mobile station mobile A and mobile B. After the connection could be established, we can either send the file to both mobile A and mobile B or receive the file to both mobile A and mobile B. We can make encryption and decryption on both mobile station and at the time of encryption and decryption permit permutation coding can be performed because to calculate the transmission power. After the transmission power can be calculated, energy consumption can be retrieved from mobile station B if act as a server and mobile station A if act as a client. Finally, at the time of encryption transmission power can be compared with at the time of decryption transmission power, file size could be reduced and also energy consumption could be reduced. Let me see the demo of our project. Then choose no data Java and run file. In this frame, we are going to configure each user by giving the corresponding IP address. In our process and in this frame, there are maximum two users only permitted to transfer the data from sender to receiver and also receiver to sender. So, you cannot configure more than two users in this frame. It's a first username and their corresponding ID and then it's a second username and his corresponding IP address we configured and then it's a third username and the corresponding IP address so in our process, maximum two nodes or two users only permitted to transfer the data from sender to receiver. So we can not configure more than two nodes. In this, we are going to choose who is act going to be act as a sender and who is going to be act as a receiver. So we are going to choose node one as sender is nothing but user sender A. It's a node two as receiver. We can choose sender B. We cannot choose node 1 or node 1 in both fields because we cannot act as both as a sender. So we are going to change. It shows such message. We are going we must run sender A and receiver B parallelly to run the program. So simply click OK. Then run sender A and receiver B.
in sender A, we are going to enter the username and the port number to connect and establish the connection between the sender and the receiver. So we are going to insert the username and corresponding port ID. Then we are going to connect at this time of connection the port number which the receiver would have the same port number it would be tail because the port number should be same so 1234 so connection could be established between sender and receiver so in center side we are going to choose the text file to transmit to the series server side and after transmitting we must be encrypted the plain text So we are going to encrypt, then receive the file, encrypt these data by encrypt by make use of these keys. At the time of encryption, we are going to calculate the transmission energy. These are the transmission energy which is the form of CPU utilization time, available CPU time and CPU utilization at the time of encryption. So this information must be sent to the receiver side. So send file A the receiver said we are going to receive it so after receive it the connection could be established this confirmation returns could be shown here so after receiving the transmission power is perfect but the this calculation must be same on the sender side because we doesn't have or we doesn't process any calculations here so then only we are going to decrypt the data by make use of the same key these are the plain text, these are the original letters that could be decrypted in previous frames. At the time of decryption, we are going to calculate the transmission power. So by comparing this transmission power to this transmission power, the energy should be saved up to 46 power. Thank you.